coming to you with a, uh, a repair. It's sort of a blast from the past for me because um, uh, this customer uh, you know, uh, remembered me from Black Line Audio and uh, his HD192 is having some problems. And this is actually a common problem. Doesn't matter if it's been modded or if it's still stock. Uh, a lot of these end up with uh, these input cards that have this really bad noise. Uh, let's see here. Um, it shows up here. Let me see if I can actually make it come over the speaker. I got my fan on, so it's a little loud. I'm going to put the camera right next to the speaker so you can kind of hear what it sounds like. Get these uh, spits, of, spits and spats of. Uh, it's actually a, a leaking uh, uh, a transistor that's just leaking some DC. Uh, all right. I'm not again. I I, uh, <laughs> I didn't go to school for electronics engineering, so I'm not exactly sure why this does this. But I was able to figure out that um, uh, that it's. These little, these little guys here. Uh, there's three of them in a row here. Uh, there's another one, another one. There, 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 and there. There are these uh, surface mount uh, transistors. Um, usually, there's uh, what happens is th these things run really hot, and I think it runs hotter than um, kind of a little bit close to the maximum rating perhaps that they were I don't know some for whatever reason this ends up being a problem with a lot of these 192s um, so I'm going to show you how, how to fix that if you are you know uh, feel like you could do surface mount soldering it's pretty easy uh, I'm going to shut this off so I can poke at things without harming anything or myself. Sure, we'll save that. Let's unplug it. So yeah, uh, I'm going to. This thing that always that sucked for working on interfaces was, is the fact that, um, yeah, that they, I don't know if they consider it trade secrets or what, but you know, for like guitar amps, you know, it's really easy to find um, uh, schematics. Even for like the DJ mixers that I work on, it's you could find a schematic for it. And it's it's easy to work on this stuff, but for whatever reason, uh, these guys thought that they had uh, something so special that they didn't want anyone to know what's in it or whatever. Uh, let's see here, I'm going to get my little magnifying thing out here. Okay. So the first thing I had to look for, see, it is the marking 1G and 2G. Uh, so I had to do a little investigative digging around um, <laughs> oh at some point I actually traced out a lot of this a lot of this junk and uh, um, I was eventually able to figure out which transistors these are uh, actually these part numbers have changed a little bit uh, so I, the last time I actually worked on a 192 was actually quite a while ago. Since then, um, they've changed a little bit. So these are the new part numbers. This is the uh, the PNP. Uh, that's the part number that I got from this, uh, you know, from Mauser. Um, that's the NPN. 
let's see, uh, that's that part number right there. Uh, and so, um, yeah, so I just, uh, I match the, match them up, you know, uh, and I just replace, I'll just replace the whole section. Uh, usually it's, you'll find the one that's leaking the most, but it's usually, uh, um, I usually don't monkey around with it too much. I just replace at least, uh, at least this, this, uh, this section here, these, uh, two, these three, three pairs here. I, uh, I usually start off with those, and if that doesn't fix it, then it's uh, one of these other ones uh, further down down the line. But first, I replace these three. Uh, the coolest thing about this is that um, this these parts only they're like 15 cents a piece or something like that. They're super cheap, so um, yeah. Okay. Uh, You've seen me uh, surface mount solder before, so I'm not going to do the video of me actually doing that. I'm just going to uh, continue this uh, after I've changed those parts out. So, Okay, so I ended up having to change them all the way down the line. Um... Yeah, this this is such a weird uh because this this isn't at all your uh your normal straightforward analog circuitry. There's uh, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with these series of transistors. It has to do with uh the V ref, uh which you know the the A to D converter chip needs uh, a particular uh, voltage, a reference voltage from which it uh, um, uses as a reference point to the uh, incoming uh, analog signal and it, uh, at least I think that's what it's for. But anyways, if, if that's out of whack, um, you know, it it's not going to sound right. And for whatever reason, see, usually you just take the voltage reference that comes straight off of the uh, converter chip and just bump bump it up into the analog stages somewhere, and it just makes its way through back to the... Uh, but they didn't do it like that. I don't know why oh, they, they, they make their own VREF voltage, for, and they have it going through all these stupid... Uh, <laughs> transistor stages and I just I, I don't know why they did this really convoluted way of doing that it doesn't make any sense to me I'm sure it made sense to the guy who got a degree in electrical engineering and yes that's my underwear it's hot up here so <laughs> I'm not going to apologize for that uh but yeah I changed those out, but uh, the thing is, I'm still, so I'm not getting the correct VREF voltage, but it seems to be working. Uh, I'm listening to the audio, and it uh, it sounds the way it's supposed to, so I don't know. Um, so my disclaimer with this is that you can try this, but I will not guarantee that it's going to work. Uh, if your 192 input card is making you know all those spits and spat sounds uh you can try the parts that i suggested at your own risk completely at your own risk if if it catches fire if it blows up that's your fault not mine uh yeah okay well uh that's it i hope to finally be getting back to doing some speaker mods and dj mixer mods i really don't want to deal with interfaces uh that's that's black line audio's thing which uh i'm happy that my legacy lives on there even